This is an instructional video showing you how to set up a border for technical drawing. You need several tools to be able to go ahead and do your technical drawing. One is a drawing board like this. You also need a blank sheet of paper. In this case, we're going to use an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. You also need an eraser. You need a ruler. You need a T-square like this. You also need a decent pencil as well as triangles. This is a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. This is a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. We use both of those during this, this video. I've also got right here the instructions that can be found in the binders that are on the south wall there on the bookcase. This particular instruction is labeled how to set up a border for technical drawing. The first step is you're going to align the paper on the drawing surface using a T-square so that the paper is parallel with the T-square. You're going to use a small amount of masking tape to, to go ahead and tape down the corners and that's going to be on the outside border. You need just a little bit of masking tape like this. Line up your paper on a hole number on the T-square. You set the T-square to where it's pushed up against the left-hand side of the drawing board. When you do that, you make sure that your hole number matches right there on the very edge. Now I'm going to tape the top left-hand corner. Then I slide down and I make sure as it slides down that the paper is also at the same spot at that hole number that I've chosen. If you need to make adjustments, do so at this time to where it lines up. Place a tape on the bottom left hand corner there. And then you can go ahead and tape off the right hand side. To double check to make sure you're square or parallel with your, your paper, you can go ahead and slide it down like this and line it up and see how it is. If there's an equal distance between on this side here on the left and on the right side, then you should be okay. Step two, using drawing tools, a 30-60-90 triangle, a 45-45-90 triangle, a ruler, lightly draw a quarter inch border from the outside edge of the paper on the top and the sides. An easy way to do this is to turn your drawing table sideways. Then go ahead and make a mark one quarter of an inch from the top. Just make a little dot right there, just a slight dot. Also, we're going to go ahead on the bottom side, we're going to go ahead and make it to where we're a half of an inch from the very bottom there. So I've made my two marks there. I go ahead and slide my drawing table back like this and I can get started now. This is a very simple process. Take your time and make sure you do a good job. So I line this up, pushing my T-square up to that dot that was right there that I just made. That's a quarter of an inch off the top side right there. Now I slide that thing up here and I go ahead and since I'm left-handed, I'm going to start from the right side and drag my pencil to the left. As I do this, I'm going to go ahead and start a quarter of an inch off the side right here and begin my drawing. Just gently come across here making a nice light line and I'm going to stop a quarter of an inch shy of the other side of the border. Looks pretty good. Now, on the bottom side, I said it's going to be half of an inch above here. The reason you do that is because I'm leaving a little bit more space there to be able to go ahead and include some text. And we'll show that in just a few minutes. But for now, we're going to go ahead and come up to our half inch mark here, and we're going to draw a similar line right here. Quarter of an inch shy of the end there, coming through and stopping it, quarter of an inch shy on the other side there. Okay, so I've got two horizontal lines there, doing well so far. The next thing I want to do is go ahead and use my 30, 60, 90 triangle. 
and line that up to where I'm a quarter of an inch shy from the side. So in this case, I'm at six and a quarter of inches. I go ahead and adjust it, making sure that I'm good and square as I need to be. And then I'll go ahead and draw my line here. Okay, looks good. Do the same thing on the right side. I'm going to go ahead and adjust my triangle as I need to, being a quarter of an inch away from that side there. Taking this, pulling it down, dragging all the way down right there. You'll notice too on the corners right here, when there's an intersection with the two lines, the intersection should meet exactly. It should not cross over like this, like that, like that. It needs to meet exactly. And that's the difference between technical drawing and other types of drawing. Okay, so we now have our border where we have a quarter of an inch on the top and the sides and then a half of an inch off the bottom. Step five. On the bottom, divide the length of paper into four equal rectangles. For example, on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, using the 11 inch side, you wanna divide in half. One half of 11 inches is five and a half inches. So all we're going to do is this. We're going to slide our T-square up here. We're going to go ahead and make a mark five and a half inches from one side over to the other. So one inch, two, three, four, five and a half. Make a little dot there. In my instruction manual there in the binder, it says then divide five and a half inches in half to get one quarter of the length. So one half of five and a half is two and three quarters inches. So I'll do the same thing, but I'm only gonna go over two and three quarter inches. One inch, two inches, one quarter, two quarters, three quarters. Again, making a dot right there. While I'm lined up here, I'll start on the right hand side as well, and I'll back off. I'll subtract two and three quarters inches. So there's one inch, two inches, one quarter, two quarter, and three quarters. Again, making a dot there for a, a guide point. And then now I can get my triangle and finish it off. Okay, it looks pretty good. Nice frame here. The idea with the frame is that it's a way to show that the person who's actually reading the drawing knows that whatever is inside of here is what they should be trying to interpret because if they want to build that, they need to make, pay particular attention to that. Okay, on the very bottom, there's several things you want to look at. These are identifiers here. You have your name, the date, the grade slash elective, since this is an educational situation, and you have the project name. I'm going to use the example of 8A. That would be eighth grade, first elective. So that would be the A elective there. When you do your writing like that, and you put your letters in, you want to make sure that you don't um, use any type of font except all capital letters and block style writing. So here we go. Putting my name here, taking time to make sure that it is legible. Okay, today's date. It is the 23rd of October, 2014. Again, I'm using the example of 8A, so 8th grade and A elective. And then the last thing is the project name. The example we're going to use is a super clip.